King, Bray Wyatt may have the most dangerous mind in sports entertainment history. Yeah, and what's scary is he's just getting started, Cole. I'm afraid to think about how dangerous he'll become. The fans have been demanding this one-on-one -on -one contest, and here it is. And approaching the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose has to be considered one of the greatest United States champions in sports entertainment history. And that's quite an accomplishment, considering the greats that have held the U.S. title in the past. We're finally going to see which one of these two is the superior competitor. The eccentric Dean Ambrose lives life by one set of guidelines, his own. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. Ambrose is going to brandish his form of justice his way. Believe that. Right in the mouth! And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Bray Wyatt emerged in WWE in the summer of 2013, and, well, this company hasn't been the same since. He brought his family with him, and Bray's sights have been set on The Shield, Daniel Bryan, and John Cena. Bray Wyatt has made it very clear he is one dangerous man. Watching the superstars file into the arena earlier today, you could tell that they have a just a different mindset. I mean, they know the dangers that go along with competing in extreme rules. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Michael, I remember weeks before Bray and his family appeared in video segments that aired on WWE programming. People were frightened. Bray Wyatt is a manipulator and wants to control everyone. Just watch his match from WrestleMania 30 against John Cena and see if I'm not right. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. He's swinging for the fences with that sledgehammer. Oh! Oh, rocked by that sledgehammer. And he's not going to stop there. Yeah, this is vicious. Look at this. There is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. It's no surprise that someone the likes of Dean Ambrose would utilize a lethal maneuver like his Dirty Deeds finisher. Oh, it's awesome. Bray Wyatt taking advantage. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Man, that one rocked him. This match is being tele- Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick! He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. Michael, you mentioned Dean Ambrose and his Dirty Deeds finisher. It looks like a descendant of the DDT. When Ambrose nails an opponent with that, you can hear everyone in the arena gasp at the same time. That moves annihilating.
you have to assume that tonight is one of the favorite nights of the year for the referees, right? I mean, there's practically no rules to enforce. The only thing they have to worry about is declaring a winner. Ray Wyatt reverses it. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his offensive armory, if you will, the Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose in-ring offensive philosophy. Fast, lethal, and out of nowhere. That can't be enough, can it? I don't know. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Dean Ambrose is not going to go away that easy. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Much more of that, and he's not going to last long. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. The arm trap cross leg STF. That'll do it. That's the longest name in the history. Arm trap cross leg STF. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced an eerie silence that falls over an entire arena like a. He's got him down, Cole. Is this it? It could be. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Bray Wyatt displaying some amazing fortitude here tonight. Just making his presence felt there. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, keep working. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. You know, I've been in a lot of arenas, and I've seen a lot of things, but I've never seen a capacity crowd stand with such a combination of fear and awe as when Bray Wyatt begins his ominous walk to the ring. He can do it here. I think he's got him. Two. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. I'm telling you, this guy's powerful. Look at that kick out. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. I think you can tell by looking into the disturbing eyes of Bray Wyatt that he likes this. This man enjoys knowing that when he walks into an arena, people are frightened of him more with each horrifying step he takes. If that doesn't tell you what you need to know about Bray Wyatt, then I don't know what would. Well, Michael, I think now people everywhere realize what Bray Wyatt can do, and they all share that fear. That fear that he may enter the arena in their home city and carry out a massacre worse than what they previously saw. It's one thing to see it on television. It's another to witness it in person. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Oh, wow. Wow, did Ambrose go down hard? Can he do it here? He's got it. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Absorbing a little bit of punishment here. Nothing to be overly concerned about, though. Uh, going to the top, high risk. I just can't get over the physicality of this man. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys.
Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. He's in full-on attack mode now. What a ruthless act. That is not a position you want to be in at any point in this match or ever. Wow! It doesn't get much better than that right there. He's looking to create some separation here. Oh, and again, he gets struck with that object. Ouch! He's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. This is what every competitor dreams of when they decide to get into this business. A match at the granddaddy of them all. WrestleMania. The shoulders are down. One, two. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Here we go, Bray Wyatt setting it up. And Bray Wyatt makes him pay for all that. Looking for all the glory here. Two. And he escapes with a kick out. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Oh, wow. What a maneuver. I don't see how anyone can recover from that. What force. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie. He's wild in there. That's vicious. Cutting off oxygen inflicts serious damage to an opponent. Hey, you could have until the referee's five count to break it. Use it. Thanks for tuning in. We're coming to you tonight from Santa Clara, the site of WrestleMania 31. Extreme Rules is such a dangerous night. Anytime you throw the rule book out the window, somebody is bound to get seriously hurt. And now Bray Wyatt pushing forward. Hey, this may very well be it. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. What a headbutt. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Dean Ambrose is a force within the ring. What a ruthless act. That is not a position you want to be in at any point in this match or ever. Ow! Ooh. What an assault. This type of attack takes things to a completely different level and leaves your opponent agonizing to breathe. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real. Going for the cover. Two. Are we going to see it? There's no recovering from that. Oh, man. There's the finish. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two. He did it. What a huge win. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. Wow, now that was an impressive victory. Tough loss there for Bray Wyatt. And there's no denying that the Santa Clara crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Would you listen to him?